And the mayor of the Boya municipality, Mayor Ekema Patrick Isunge, has explained why he decided to seal the doors of some shops in uh, the towns so or in the neighborhoods of Clark's Quarters and Great Support. Mayor Ekema Patrick has said that he's going to be extending the move to other parts of the town, like in my 16 and Munya, just to name a few, if traders continue to respect the ghost town. A correspondent in Boya, Derek Jato, caught up with the mayor of Boya and compiled this report. Since Monday, stores, business centers, offices, banks and companies have remained closed and sealed by the Buya Council. And this is him, Mayor Ekema Patrick Esonge, the mayor of Buya Council, who did it. I personally did that. I was on ground or, uh, uh, for 13 hours. We are going to continue. I'll be in Moya, I'll be at my 16. Those are parts of the municipality and insisted that he acted on the law and also on an agreement that was arrived at in a meeting with economic operators of the city recently with businesses now grounded. One next. I insist they must meet up with their fiscal responsibility with the council. Secondly, they must take, have an undertaking with the council to avert themselves from such occurrences in future. The affected have not only stayed away from their sealed place of work, but also from any interviews. Today, many say Boya has been fractured from many fronts. Some Boya stores of the Bakuri land are empty. The custodians have been abducted. Well, I, I feel terribly bad um, for our traditional authorities to have been abducted. And Mayor Ekema Patrick Esonga says he has been abandoned by his elite in these troubled waters. I feel terribly bad that all the questions pertaining to the happenings um, in the municipality and the division uh, are all pointing at me. For the elites, I can't remember the last time I saw an elite here. But if it were to come and crucify Ekema or to come and present several gates to hold positions in the party, to deceive the head of state that they love him and they love the party. They would have been champions. Unfortunately, all of them are refugees now in Yaoundé and in Douala. Apart from the economic and chief's abduction that Mayor Ekema Patrick Esunga is battling with, there is also another hot potato on the mayor's table, the CBDM party that elected him into this office. It is humiliating. I think uh, it's a mark of uh, resignation that Fakou Division did not sit in a conclave to um, appeal to the head of state to present his candidature. Who then is going to come down to do campaigns for the head of state? And that is the picture of the Southwest Regional Capital Boya as the Anglophone crisis deepens. And talking about the closing of some shops in the Boya subdivision by Mayor Ekema Patrick Isunga, a lawyer in Boya has practically kicked against the decision by the mayor to seal the doors of shops qualifying it as illegal. According to Barista Eta Bisong Jr., the traders have their right to decide when to open their shops or simply stay at home. The former Batuni equally added that the mayor cannot win the case against the people if the matter has to go to court. Let's hear him in the following except he was speaking to Equinox Television. I must say that I am particularly shocked that in a country which professes to be a state of law, uh, actions like this are taken and uh, nothing is being said about it. When I say nothing is being said, I mean nothing is being said by the state. I must say that as a lawyer, the action which the municipal authorities, the mayor and uh, his courts are taking, the action is completely illegal. It is wrong for anyone to go and shut up another person's business premises for the reasons which they are advancing. You know, um, these are private businesses. And so they don't have really any fixed rule as to when they should open, when they should close, whether they can uh, decide to open every day of the month, 
or whether they should never be ill. You know, take a businessman who goes out to buy his merchandise to come and sell, and he's a sole proprietor of his business, and he shuts his shop and goes out to buy the merchandise, say, in Dwala, and on his return, he finds that his shop has been closed. That is definitely illegal. I want to say that, you see, this does not, people don't know what the law is. First, it is a criminal act, because that's what in criminal law we call disturbance of quiet enjoyment, and it is a civil wrong in what we call trespass to land. I would like to give an example. You see, a landlord has no right to go and lock up his tenant's premises because the tenant has not paid rent. You follow due process of law. But in the case of Boya, what is happening in Boya now, locking up of people's stores or ceiling, as they call it, with uh, pieces of paper hung, uh, uh, pasted on the doors, is completely illegal. They are trespassing on the property of the, of the people who are in possession of the store. It is not the owner who has a right of action. It is the person who is operating in the business premises. So it is completely illegal. And I should imagine that the mayor should have advisors, and I know that there are councillors there in that council who are legal minds, who should tell the mayor that this type of action is completely illegal and uncalled for. What offense? What is the offense for a businessman not opening his premises? But somewhere along the line, somebody must start an action to stop this type of nonsense. Because absolute, it is absolute nonsense. So somebody must stand up someday and fight this type of fight and let the courts declare whether the mayor or whoever can go and shut up a man's business place for reasons which are not in violation of any law.